Hi everyone, in this tutorial we're going to cover how to flash your GPU's BIOS to make it more stable, add functionality and maybe extend its life by making it more compatible with future software and hardware upgrades and implementations. There's a link to my blog's article and the software downloads in the about tab of this video and also in the header of my YouTube channel. In the blog article you can follow along with a step by step guide to this tutorial. So let's begin by downloading and installing the following software. GPU-Z, which gives you information about your graphic card. Next, in the video BIOS editor, you're going to fill out these tabs here with the correct information pertaining to your graphic card and download your latest BIOS updates. Next, you'll need NV Flash, which is a utility for flashing your graphic card. Then you'll need the Windows 98 system files, uh, which is needed to create a bootable USB disk. Next you'll download and install the HP USB disk storage format tool which along with the Windows 98 system files you'll use to construct a USB bootable drive. First things first, fire up GPU Z, you'll go to the BIOS version, see what your latest BIOS is, click save to file, save to your desktop. Once saved to your desktop, I suggest you make a copy and save it off your main computer that you're using, just in case you have to reflash your graphic card to get it back to its original state if anything goes wrong. This is going to be your safety net, and it's well worth taking the time to copy it. Next, you will download and extract nvflash, and you will find inside the file these two files here nvflash.exe and cwspsdpmi.exe these are the two files you'll need okay once you've downloaded and extracted the windows 98 system files you should have a folder that looks similar to this you should have 31 files and you're going to need these for the next step next you're going to fire up the hp usb storage format tool once the program starts you'll see the full information you'll see your device's label then you'll see the file system, make sure it says FAT32 give whatever name you want in the volume label and then go to format options, click create a DOS startup disk using DOS system files located at make sure it points to wherever you save and extracted the Windows 98 system files once you've done that, click OK and you're ready to go, click start once that's complete and everything has gone smoothly, you should see this you should see format completed successfully and some information about your USB drive. Great, now you're ready to go. Okay, so the next thing you do is once you have your USB formatted and done correctly, this is what you'll need. Once you've, you've downloaded your latest BIOS, you'll copy that to the actual USB drive. Then you'll go to Windows, your NV Flash, sorry. Copy, close, paste. Okay, so th these are the three files you should actually see in your USB. Now it may look empty, but it's not. It has some hidden files on there, which you can see by going to View, Options, Change Folder, Search Options, View, and uncheck this. So uncheck High Protected System Files. Okay and you'll see that there's actually more files there but these are the three files you should see regardless my advice here is for you to rename your updated GPU's BIOS to something easy to remember as this will help you out later on when it comes to typing out your command line you don't want to be typing out something that's 12, 13 characters long next you'll just do is restart your computer press F12 or whatever function key you need to get into your setup utility or your boot sequence utility uh, change it to a USB device and then press enter let it, let it run its course it should then come up with a command prompt where you will then proceed to type in the following nbflash.exe space gpu.com or whatever you've named your updated GPU's BIOS and if everything goes well and, you're, and restart your computer in GPU Z your latest BIOS should read here this number should be different than the original number that you, that you saw in your file so you can 
you can go back to your original file that you saved this number here should be different to this number here okay I can't stress enough how important this next part is whatever updated GPU bias you download make sure it qualifies with the actual card that you have this is so important because if you don't you run the risk of bricking your graphic card and then you would have to reflash it back to its original state this is where this file comes into play this is going to save your life if anything goes wrong I'm really interested to find out how if this tutorial worked for you and how you got on so please like comment share subscribe all that good stuff and I will see you soon thanks for watching